strike me as it wants to. Pathetic. Shine down. We pathetic. Strike dead. Shines eternal. There this is no escape. This is the Sakura Blossom that once filled the skies fell to the ground as pitch black rain. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop. She, she's completely recovered. Inazuma shines eternal! The divine lightning that envelops all of Inazuma will fade silently into the clouds. There shall never be another. Never. For the rest of time. Stillness transcending! Illusion shattered! Inferior. Huh. Insolent! Now you shall perish! The eyes. There, there is no man. escape! <laughs> Remove all up to inferior! <laughs> Illusion shattered! Be gone! Be gone! Inferior. Inazuma shines Lightning eternal! Fall from the land of eternity! There is no escape! Strike dead! Evasion is evil! Inferior. Lightning, obey me! Your verdict is decided. Thunder, absurd! This illusion shattered! Leave your shadow. Torn to oblivion! Shattered! <laughs> Only emptiness awaits. Have you finally defeated her? It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. But how long can your will remain strong? How the heck? <sighs> In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. She was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Then, does that mean this is going to be a never-ending battle? <sighs> Maybe. But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. The future I sh If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last, months, years, centuries, and no matter how many times we must fight, I will 500 years ago. Humanity here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices, tear them. It is about time I understand that. But if the I fight for the everlasting future of Ina, I vow to the subjects of Ina during my absence. B but this means that. Pass on my words. Looks like we got kicked out. Oh, what do we do? Are we really just gonna... She was making sense. And maybe this is the only way to change the 
Shogun's rules, but still! Right? Also, A can be pretty stubborn at times. And what if she gets too obsessed with winning and she forgets why she's there in the first place? It could happen. And then she might... Yeah, we should help her out, like we did last time. Is there any way we can cut down how long she needs to spend in there? Or, you know, help her with... Well, whatever. We can't let anything bad happen to A. Oh, but we also... Okay, well, first things first. We gotta find a way back in. Oh, come on, Brain Juice! Don't feel time on now! Um... Oh, you're right! Who knows if she really under... Whenever you are troubled... Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, then I hope you realize how lucky you are. If it was any- But you're a That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpick- Oh, yeah, yeah! Something really big's happened! It's a- Oh, okay, I see. So, Ace decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even- Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable. Presumes her sheer will can see her through. Dis you know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> so you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Uh, is she playing dumb? Uh-huh. You're learning, little one. But really, the tr all I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura. And f because right in Makoto? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just first things first. Follow me to the... Now then, I always have my ways. It's just a question of how crafty I need to, to the outsider. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint- So, it's abstract, but has a location, but you don't know where it is- Yes, no need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be- This is precisely why when and What? <laughs> Alright, well, Paimon- Suit yourself. Worst case <laughs> Oh. Well, if you're quite sure, then of course- <clears throat> Hmm. I s- Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily- By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heart. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being- Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I'll stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if I'm placing my god in your capable hands. For my sake and for Inazuma's, please. Bring her back. Nico, you better know what you're doing! That's enough chatter. Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. 
Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. How were you able to get back in? And this is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today, over countless battles, not once have you lost, and never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Had I made all enemies of eternity stand against you? You still would not- For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have- you bring honor to the title of guard. Now these two return once more to this space. <laughs> and then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began 500. Final duel? <laughs> Stand back, traveler. I'm going to be the start of something new. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness the rise and fall of the nations. The energy they consume, great enough to vaporize the ocean and turn day into night. And the will they demanded, sufficient to penetrate minds and crush dreams. Yes, you have endured. I will endure forever! <laughs> Illusion shattered! Ha. <laughs> In spirit! <laughs> This is the end. I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way. You need not worry about the future. And you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my str- Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. And whenever I think of this, I feel some the blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to gu- I noticed it also. Just now, in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar- This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. This blade belonged to Makoto. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power when I truly understand and believe in her. <laughs> when I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she would- It was at once a familiar feeling, and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life. And yet, you have my approval. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, huh. You truly have changed. I suppose- I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. The duties I perform will not change. 
But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again. Hmm. <laughs> it was simply a new experience for me. One that is worth reliving. Have you finished fighting then? Hmm? Hello, A. And greetings, those who have come to bear witness. I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the Makoto? I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, <laughs> a convoluted way to reach you, but... Well, you held such deeply and tra There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. But... You never mentioned this to Everything happened so suddenly. I'm so... I've always felt terrible for having to int I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time. To dissuade you from your pers- Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? I had some sense of it. That place... was not... In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. Don't look down on me. <laughs> See? It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to... Here. Take it. But it is you. Huh? <gasps> the light turned into a seed? The miracle tree that blesses the people, in this moment new to the world and yet to be known. When to plant it, where it shall bloom, she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide. Grant it life. A? Is this... is it really? <sighs> Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. <laughs> when both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness. Finally free from the clutches of the Heavenly Principles. Now, the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future, nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, eh? I am so happy right now because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye, eh? Bye, Makoto. So the A of the present planted the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness, and it took root in the Inazuma of the past. No matter what you make of it, it's quite incredible. All of this is thanks to Makoto's power. Her eternity is a concept intimately connected with time. We a place where time is me. Perhaps that is the reason why you were able to return precisely. To and yet, that sense of disorderliness. I don't fully understand yet. But, hmm. 
Well, I'm- I know what you mean. Perhaps a higher power without the sacred Sakura. Inazuma would likely have been completely swallowed- I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura. But to me, it has always been there. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there is a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness. No. But I understand why now. It was because the sacred- Um, but don't you think that tree looked a lot different than how- The sacred Sakura is within my purview at the shrine, so obviously I get to prune it exactly- Ugh. Now we see- I'm joking. That tree has been through a lot since it first sprouted. We have the loving care of Kitsune over the ages, too. and obviously I played my part too. It's fair to say that very little time passed between the moment you came out of that realm and the moment you re-entered it. But in that same time, centuries of battling took- Traveler, if I'm guessing correctly. You were repeating your wishes to yourself in your mind, or at that time I could sense A's whereabouts, but I also sense, suffice to say, time added a whole new dimension to our search. Fortunately, your will was strong enough that the turbulence carried you to the moment in time most likely to be the intersection of all that you were wishing for. The flow of turbulence may well have been influenced by Makoto, but it took everyone's efforts combined to ultimately help A. So this time... It looks like thanks are due to you. Does that mean... it wasn't by chance that we ended up at the final duel? I thought that the flow of time was the same on the inside and the outside. So it was a great shock to me when the Traveler reappeared. My first thought was, has a great disaster, but it turned out you had come to rescue me. You came for my sake, to help me reach the best possible outcome. You too have my thanks. You have done much for me, and I will never forget it. Hey, how are you feeling now? My body has fully recovered. And the Shogun's will n Always thrilled to hear you're in good health. But I was really asking about your emotion. After all, I only heard her voice. I wouldn't- I'll be fine. It brought a few things back, I have to say. This has reminded me once again just how brilliant Makoto was. She predicted all the ways in which Inazuma's future could unfold. Oh, she even factored my immaturity into her plan. It's all thanks to her that Inazuma lived to see this day. I just planted a seed. Thank you. Today, at long last, you and I Makoto and you are e It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. I graciously accept them. Oh, <laughs> come on. Makoto said the exact same- <laughs> Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder, does that qualify me to maybe Take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? Actually, no. Forget that. Far more trouble than it's worth. We will have to end the frivolities there. There is much work to be done. The Shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today to find out where things currently stand. Then, after that, I will abol- Really? I am no longer pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. In which case, I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for- I'm looking forward to- 